Let's learn automatic schedule backup of SQL database. Now let's try to backup this hospital and pharmacy database automatically by scheduling time. For this, right click on the maintenance plan, then click on maintenance plan wizard, then click on next, then click here, that is change. In this dialog box, we are going to specify the time at which the database is going to be backup. You can backup daily, weekly or monthly. I prefer daily. You can specify according to your choice. I, I, have, I have selected here daily. Then occur at once means you can specify a specific time to backup this database. You can specify any time. If you uh, selected 11 am, then it will backup every day at 11 am. But this hospital and pharmacy database is a very important database so i prefer backup every 10 minutes as this data hospital and pharmacy database is very important y you can specify according to your choice then click on ok then in the name specify a name i specify it as automatic backup you can specify any name then click on next then here we can backup database in many forms i prefer full backup i selected here backup database full then click on next then click on next then in this uh, box I, I need to specify the database which i want to backup you can backup all database also but i want this hospital and pharmacy database to be backup so click on destination tab this this is a, this is the place at which this backup is going to be stored so click on this three dots and specify the location of this the location at which the database is going to backup i i like to backup in e drive in the backup folder so i have selected e drive and backup folder then click ok then click next you can uh, if you want this one report you, you can check it but I don't want this so I uncheck it and click next then click finish then click close we need to do some setting on the SQL server so that this automatic backup can be performed automatically to do so right click on window then click on SQL server and click on SQL server configuration manager then click on yes Automatic backup is performed by this SQL Server agent. Now let's stop this SQL Server by right clicking on it and click on stop. If this SQL Server stop agent stop, then automatic backup will not be performed. So the first setting must be, its state must be in, always in start step. So right click on it and click on start. Since SQL Server agent is, agent state is in, start state, so automatic backup will be performed automatically second setting must be double click on the SQL server agent and click on service then set this start mode automatic because whenever the system reboots then this SQL server agent start automatically then click on apply then click on click on ok in the same way this SQL server MS SQL server must be start must must be in the start state and we need to do some setting on this ms sql server so double click on it and click on service then its start mode must be in automatic and click on apply then click on ok now let's flip on to the sql server management studio and refresh the sql server manage, management studio and expand the maintenance plan so the automatic backup is visible here this means that my automatic backup is successful so execute execute this automatic backup by right clicking on it then click on execute so automatic backup is performed successfully now let's check whether the backup is is in the backup folder so in the e drive in the backup folder so the automatic backup of SQL database is successful. 
If every 10 minute automatic backup of SQL database is performed, then this drive will be filled up by this backup file and there will be no space further to save this backup file. At that moment, SQL Server agent will stop auto automatically and will not perform further automatic backup of this SQL Server database. To overcome such problem, we need to clean up this backup file regularly and automatically. To do such automatic cleaning of SQL Server database, we need to flip to the SQL Server management and learn the technique for cleaning those SQL Server database backup files. So right click on the maintenance plan and click on maintenance plan wizard then click on next then in the name specify a name I am typing here cleaning you can specify any name and click on the change button. In this dialog box we are going to specify the time at which cleaning is going to perform. I select here daily you can spec specify according to your choice and as, uh, in this occur once at the, you can specify the time here I have specify 11 p.m. if I specify this here 11 p.m. then it will clean clean up the backup file every day at 11 p.m. or you can click on here occur every you can you can specify hour minute or second you can if you select one hour then it will clean up every one hour if you select one minute then it will clean up every every one minute I prefer uh, cleaning up of the tables occur at every 11 p.m. and click on OK. Click Next, then select Clean Up History, then click Next, then click Next. Now in this combo box, I select here days and specify in this in this combo box one day. It means that it will remove all the SQL database backup which is older than one days. You can specify monthly, weekly or yearly or hourly. I specify here one day. That is it will remove all the backup file which is older than one days. Then click on next. I, I don't want this one so I uncheck it and click on next then click on finish. Then click on close. In this way we backup and clean the SQL database automatically.